welcome back to another reaction. Uh, I know I've been very, very bad <laughs> at reactions lately. I'm very, very late on doing some. I got a little bit distracted by a certain video game that I can't seem to stop playing. And I'm also studying for a big exam. <laughs> so <and> I, <laughs> anyway, I won't go into all of it, but this I'm very, very excited about this. I heard about this show uh, a while back and then kind of forgot and then it just showed up today i was like oh my gosh it's here i watched the animation like when it was out i don't know if i watched it like as it was airing or afterwards but like this was my first introduction to the x-men I, I think i may have heard of them before watching but no this is like my knowledge of the x-men comes from this uh this cartoon and i think i may have read like one or two two comics like graphic novels i'm not very good at comics i have trouble reading comics i know that seems weird for some people but i just processing visual information is not my strong suit so you know the fact that half of the story is told through pictures in a comic is difficult for me so yeah i just kind of gave it but this cartoon i loved and then it just you know went away and and now it's back and i i haven't seen anything about it like i haven't seen any reviews or anything i didn't watch the trailer i just heard that it was coming it was like oh cool and then promptly forgot about it so just even like looking at this the fact that this is the poster like it looks like the animation style is going to be the same when i heard about it i assumed they were going to be updating the animation but this this looks exactly like the cartoon that i remember so I really don't know. And of course, I when I say like I watched it, I did. I loved it and I watched it, but I have not watched it since I watched it that first time. So even my memory of the X-Men is probably going to be a bit vague. Obviously, I've seen the movies, but I, I don't like they are not entirely in like Jubilee wasn't even in the movies at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I know they're not exactly the same. And so, you know, I have knowledge, but not as much as, you know, hardcore X-Men fans. I just know I really, really liked this show. So I'm excited to watch this. Let's get into it. Let's be nerdy with Let's Be Nerdy. Let's be nerdy with Let's Be Nerdy. The music is even like, it feels like the same. I, th I thought they would update all of this. Oh my God. They're doing the same. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the same music. I, and like the animation is exactly the same. Damn it! I want Jubilee to get Bishop. I don't remember Bishop at all. I want Jubilee to get lots of stories because she was like completely left out of the movies. Are they gonna do like a remake of X Men Evolution? Because I really like that cartoon too. I remember it was like them in high school. To me, my X-Men. I haven't seen the title, okay. Professor Charles Xavier, the mutant leader's assassination last year by former Oh, NSA did he die at the end of the series? I really don't remember. The buyer's really gonna throw down 10 grand for every- Character is named Mullet? A character better have a mullet. What's this freak's trick? No clue. Kid didn't even try- He does have a mullet. That's a good 90s hairstyle, yes. You hear that, I like the ones on TV. I'm one of the good ones. A good mutant. Oh that gosh, one of the good ones. That's a phrase I know. I, Ugh. I was born this way. Ain't that the rub? <laughs> I was born this way, yeah. <laughs> oh, is it Bobby? Bobby, Iceman, the Iceman cometh. I am scorned. <gasps> Ooh. Of the elements. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Then you are a fool. I don't remember that haircut on Storm, but she looks good. Yes. Or did these dirt bags get upgrades? Like everything feels exactly like the old cartoon. Like it feels the same. Booted Even up, like boy. the acting Better style. Cyclops, yeah, there you are. <laughs> Knocking him out with your Cyclops powers. Oh! That's a sentinel. Oh my gosh, you got a sentinel's hand. Rollerblades. Did you see that? There were rollerblades. Nice. Take his visor before he starts up again. No, don't. I surrender. Okay, come on. Some more people. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, taking away his visor just makes him more powerful. Save the kid. 
got home safe. These beignets need my gosh, these outfits. Wow, do you have any idea what that means, Gambit? Means you get to howling like a is that Gambit? That's Gambit, Rogue. The professor entrusted us with his dream of mutant human. Coding. Did not remember what Gambit looked like without his clothes. Is that what he looks like without his superhero outfit? Rogue is right, Cyclops. Hey, while I trust that all my students would gladly die for my is Professor X. They just said he's dead. I would prefer it be also, he's walking or floating. Creep morph. Okay, <laughs> there he is. I get it. Oh, Jean, you could have heard someone. You pregnant? Okay. And of course, he's hanging upside down. Yes, yes. Blue monkey singing Mozart as he tinkers with doohickeys. I remember really liking Jubilee. Oh, I want more of her. I don't remember what her power was. Like, she makes fireworks or something? Is that it? Pretty sure he knows nothing. So now you're kidnapping me. Kidnapping? You want to help mutants? Yeah. Hmm. I like Jubilee. More Jubilee. Give me more Jubilee. We are nature's favorite children. Is this the training room? I seem to remember there was a training room. Yeah, I think there's a training room. It's the danger room. It's where we train. Danger room. That's what they called it. Yes, yes. Not even real. You would turn your back on your own. The danger room, pretty damn dangerous. Wolverine, hey bub. Lady, some respect. Bub. Say bub! Can we stop now? Computer and program. He's gotta say bub! Scary enough for you, bub. Bub! Yes, yes, yes! How are these groups getting this tech? You said the UN destroyed all the signals. It's a cartoon Zoom call. This certainly explains your mood. Um so it's died very, very recently. Hard on yourself and the team. Remember when So this like actually takes place in the nineties, so they can like do period piece hairstyles and stuff. We've already seen it. That's kind of cool. Our son will need us more. So we're gonna get new X-Men mommy and daddies. And I know it hurts. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna stick around. You can't get rid of especially Jean Grey. You can't get rid of Jean Grey. Oh, he actually sniffs. I don't remember if he was a sniffy boy in the old cartoon. I'm assuming he was though. But I don't much go in for being bossed around. Is it the same voice actors? Because that, like, I kind of got chills because that is exactly what the voice I remember. See, that's what I remember Gambit looking like. I don't remember what he looked like without his outfit. Rogue is wearing gloves, right? Like, how is she touching him? Yeah, yeah, she's got gloves on. Okay. That's right, these two, okay. I remember all the romantic connections. If I remember correctly, obviously Jean Grey and Scott are a couple. I seem to remember Wolverine was in love with Jean. Okay, and then of course, yeah, Rogue and Gambit. That is true. Scott is kind of boring. Is Nighthawk gonna be? I remember also really liking. Is it? Is his name Nighthawk? The one who can like teleport? I really liked his character in this this series. One dance, that'll come. Promise. I do not believe you. Yeah, it's like she makes fireworks. What? Like I don't quite know what her powers are, but the fireworks are cool. Why you didn't use your powers against those goons? Does he have like stupid mutant powers that like don't do anything? Like I have the power to grow my fingernails a couple of extra inches. Whoa! You should have not smashed that. You could use it to investigate. No, you're in vogue, Storm. A fad, but under all that fashionable sympathy. People saying that like, oh, X Men went. Well, this is the metaphor of the show. It's so obvious. Ah, we might wear wokeness was part of the formula for creating the X-Men. No, but have you met my wife? 
<laughs> oh, she is using was it Cerebro? Yes. Allowing me to penetrate your thoughts from any distance I please. Ah yes, the exposition depths. I remember that. <laughs> Who else is in there? Who else is at the brain? Master Mold. That sounds awful. We fly into the coordinates, detain Trask, and shut down Master Mold for good. Very important that I did not explain any of this before we got on the jet. There will be no dismembering, Wolverine. Oh, but I mean, he's got... <laughs> he's got very good carving fingers. Oh, the jet has been smashed, and there's a sentinel. Okay. It's just like a sentinel flying in the air. Where'd that come from? And they just blew up the jet. Of course, of course. I think they can all fly? Because Logan, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Somebody get him. He'd be fine, but still. The smash wouldn't be good. Oh, and Beast! Beast can't fly! Can he fly? I don't think he can fly. I don't think he can fly. Can he? No? Oh, okay. He can slow down his... Okay. Alright. To me, my X-Men. <laughs> Beast probably has a huge wedgie right now. No, the mutant agenda must be stopped. So is that we Master Mo oh, That's Trask. I thought Trask was the- oh, G Trask Gyrick was the guy in prison. Oh look, another sentinel. Okay, that's a zombie sentinel. Oh yes, more zombie sentinels. Okay. Okay, she's beheaded heads up, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, of course, is all... It's awesome, but it's way too easy. Lewis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful involuntary friendship. <laughs> oh, Beast, you're awesome. I do not remember Bishop at all. Like, what are his... He's Time Traveler? Not sure how Time Travel is useful in this scenario. And here comes Storm. Gonna set them all on fire with some lightning. Yep, yep, yep. Ancient sands, heed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. Oh, like this is so not current style, but I'm feeling the nostalgia and it's so awesome. Ancient relics, like that's, that would not fly in a show today. I mean, this is still, like, they're gonna take it out. This is still too easy, though. This is episode one. Corp, <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> Our special sciences division is flying in to dismantle Master Mold. Yet again, is that Master Mold? I don't think it is. I think there's something else. To be honest, it was a team effort. Look at Wolverine's outfit. It's a bit shredded. Freedom! I mean... I'll get out of your hair. Still don't know your powers, young man. What is your powers? What is it? I ran away, just like you. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Parents don't know, do they? Yeah, he's been kicked out, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, what's this? So makes me strong, though. Really strong. That's pretty cool. Just reminds me that I'm different. That I'm Cool little glowy arm. Don't forget single. Page me. I got a jet too. Page me. Nice, nice. <laughs> Ooh, are we flirting? We're flirting. Okay. Oh. Logan, we're not bailing. Uh, we're moving with on the with our lives. Gone. Who the heck is gonna lead the team? Storm, 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 lead the team. Storm. Charles Xavier was the finest man I. This is Magneto. Differences. He never. What? His school. Everything he built. Are you saying? Everything. Professor X left the school? He left the school to Magneto. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, I love this. Like, you can see they're giving their, their powers. It's pretty cool. 
Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay, there's episode one of X-Men 97. Uh, it does, like, it's, it's a cartoon, right? And I remember this show. It has the same feeling. Like, there's people give too much exposition in their speech. They're a little over dramatic. And I'm saying that not in a negative way. Like, it, it feel, it feels, it feels accurate to, to what the show is. I have to go back and watch to see if I'm remembering it correctly, but I do remember things like people giving long expositional speeches where they explained things or, you know, would say their powers as they did them, like lightning bolt or like storm coming in and being like the ancient sands, blah, 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 blah. Like she would do that in the, I, if I remember correctly, it has been, well, since like it's been more than 20, maybe 20 years. I don't know. Since I watched this show, it's been a while. 20. No, that's not 20. Yeah, no, it's 20. <laughs> more than 20. I can math. Anyway, <laughs> since I watched this. So, you know, my memory cloudy, but I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's just a fun nostalgia. I don't know where we're going. I don't know. Like, why did, why would Professor X leave his school to Magneto? Like, is this some sort of attempt to reform Magneto by surrounding him with the X-Men who are full of hope and the feelings of hope and desire for peace with humanity instead of war with him. I, I don't know. I don't know why Professor X did that. That's weird. I also don't like, is it true? Is it true? Is Magneto lying? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm curious to see where it goes. I am enjoying this. It's like, it's not, you know, the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's not blowing my mind, but it is, it's like a warm, comforting feeling as well as just taking me back and I'm curious to see where the story goes. Uh, yeah, I really do want more Jubilee just because I remember really liking her and then she just was not in the movies at all. Gambit, I also know was not in the movies, but there's always been talk of a Gambit movie and it just never happened. Uh, but he was not the character I was invested in. I was invested in Jubilee and I really remember being invested in the story of, I think it's Nightcrawler. I think that's his name. He's blue and he could teleport and he kind of looked like a demon, but he was like in this cartoon specifically, he was super religious. And I thought that was really interesting for like a character who looks like a demon. Anyway, I don't know if he'll show up. I really liked him, but I don't know where he is or whatever. I don't remember where his story went in the this cartoon. So I don't know. But anyway, what are your thoughts on uh, this? I don't want to call it a reboot, this weird late sequel continuation of the story with the exact same animation style and the exact same theme song the same the theme song delights me i can't believe it's just it hit it, that theme song hits anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you like my content and you want to support me i do have a patreon it is also linked in the description below to my patrons as always i am so thankful for you and grateful for your continued support uh, I could not do this without you. I sincerely could not. So thank you so, so much. And with that, I am going to end this here. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.